Alrighty, there's no sound, but let's play this here. It's very cute. <laughs> nice. I think what we could do... There's a lot of really good stuff in there. Now, there are a couple of things that ask some questions and then some suggestions, as always. I'm not quite sure what he's doing here. Like, is he... Because we can see like he has, you know, full fingers for all the posing. I'm just not quite sure what he's doing here. That's my first question. I mean, I know he's waiting. That's your classic Sonic pose. But then I thought that he's looking at his watch. Like, you know, pretending, looking at the watch and he was going to wait. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure what is going on here. I do like this a lot, though. I like that. Going into this with the knees in. Jumping. Ah, oh, let's see. You have an immediate. I think even on this, since we're popping, I would uh, probably already move that leg over this way. Instead of keeping it in like this. So then go into this. That's also super cute. You got some multiples there. I like that. There's a little bit of a hop and adjustment in the legs. That's cute. Visually, I would just bring out that hand out a bit further so you don't have that line right there. You got a tangent with these points there. Some cute details in the fingers. I don't know if you can adjust the lighting where we will see a bit more structure. You know, like, like here when you have some of the highlights and shadows in here maybe. And probably since we don't know where things are where things are coming from, we don't really have to be super um, you know, picky about eye line in terms of, oh, it has to be that far away to the right. I will keep that eye around here so it's not right there where the nose is. And then even here, go just a bit more inward as probably the absolutely worst color to choose. So just a bit more in here. So we're not so edgy here. And even here, might as well go a little bit more to the right so we don't lose it. And that's all cute. A nice little stretch there. Even there, you can cheat and bring pupil just in a bit here. So the main first point, like these are to me all like little detailed things. But when I look at this here, it feels like there's a big ready to go up here. But then we're only here. You might as well kind of tilt up. But it just it just feels like we're there's so much energy implied. But then we're suddenly going like this instead of doing all of this up here. And that way you could hold this a bit longer and then zip down into this. And, and then I will push it. This feels more like it lands and then leans to then get out with the jump out, which is totally fine. But it feels like as we go bigger here, lands and then this be more like a... So a couple more bounces and lean and you might even lean a bit more. And then if you can kind of fake maybe a highlight here or something so that we get to understand there's a rotation happening. So it's not just like an Easter ball, Easter egg type of thing, a ball <laughs> rolling, not rolling, but kind of leaning and that's it. We kind of need to kind of assimilate, cheat a little, a little curvature here and then have that turn. And then I would, I would make these a bit slower. You might as well have one here and then maybe here and then boom. Because right now, because they're so close to each other in terms of placements, I know they're slightly different, but if you watch this in real time, it's super stroby. And they, all, they just seem to be hovering here, changing places where you could have one here, here, fa -bang. the next one might be here, and you see a bit more. The next one, you know, maybe a bit bigger, and then one here, and then here. Just So they're not all within this area. So one will be here, one here, one here, one here, and just a bit further. It doesn't have to be further placed, but to me it would be more than just one frame. Two or three frames, but also not stuck in this area, if that makes sense. That's kind of that. It's really cute. Really like it. Yeah, it just seems like this feels a bit stunted there. You can go a bit higher and kind of push the, the craziness just a little bit. And I mean, you could also... I mean, it all seems very uh, nice in terms of like, the flat shading and everything, but I want to maybe have a little bit of a like a darker green crack and some of the uh, the ice or whatever that is <laughs> come out details. This might be too much detail if you want to keep it more on the simpler side, but it could be also kind of cute 
to have some stuff happening there. Anyway, that's kind of that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.